Thank you for watching this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to just show you the coding on how to um, create a week starting date and end starting date for a timesheet. Um, basically, what it does is it takes the current value of the current date and uh, calculates the uh, first Sunday, the week starting, the next Sunday, and the week ending. And I'll show you the example at the very end of this tutorial. Now, for the uh, sake of time in this tutorial, I already went ahead and um, typed everything out for you, so you don't have to watch me type it out, but I will explain everything and, and how and why it works. Um, so basically, everything you'll be concentrating on is basically in this code here. Um, at the front of the code, I went ahead and echoed um, a title for timesheets, and I went ahead and put a span style on it, so it basically it will turn everything into red um, text, so you can uh, it'll really pop out, and uh, I can really explain it to you. What you want to do is put the uh, current date in a in a current date variable, which I went ahead and uh, typed out date and added it in the, using the date function um, using a capital F which is basically the will give you the fully written out month the lowercase j which will give you the day um, and a capital Y which will give you the current year which is obviously 2012 and I went ahead and closed it off um, I went ahead and echoed it out um, stating that um, the first date from uh, of the month would be calculated like this you'll have the date variable which I also added the actual um, day which is would be a Sunday um, plus a comma and string to time function I added the date variable which is up here concatenated it with the Sunday also concatenated it with minus two weeks so minus two weeks from today would give you the first Sunday of the month <coughs> Next line, the week starting would give you the <coughs> the starting date <coughs> of when everything is calculated, which is basically put into a date function, which is capital F, lowercase j, and y, and then d for the date, comma, string to time, <coughs> wrapped into the date variable, which is again up here, Oops. and uh, and wrote out last Sunday. Next. The next line would be basically um, the next Sunday from today, which is actually Saturday. Um, let me see. As you can see here, it's Saturday. Um, and this will calculate the actual next Sunday, which is tomorrow. Um, and so I put the, the current date variable in here, which is string to time, and it will give you the next Sunday. So the next... Um, um, the... the week let's see here I'm sorry uh, so yeah April 15th from the 7th would be in this date variable which is be date string to time the date Sunday and concatenated by plus one week and that would give you the end result would be Sunday March 25th which would be the first um, Sunday of the block, um, which let me back up here, which would be right here. And the week starting date would be April 1st. And then the next, uh, the, the ending week of the 1st would be the 8th. And two weeks from the 8th would be the 15th. Oops. So as you can see, it'd be the first, the eighth, and the fifteenth, and the code would be would look like this. And if you wanted to go ahead and uh, mess around with dates, um, I went ahead and put a test function here. Let me go ahead and block this out and open this back up and activate this. Oops. And in order to test the dates, like if you wanted to go ahead and bump it uh, a month forward, like say. To May, I would just go ahead and add the, the May here, and I'd take the actual the day out because that's going to really mess things up. So, so just the month, day, and the year is showing here. I'm going to go ahead and save this, 
and I'll bring this back into frame here and I'll go ahead and refresh and as you can see it changed all the dates to the Sundays accordingly and let me open up my oops my so if I go to May just man I'm sorry it's off screen here but you'll see that um, the following Sunday would be uh, I'm sorry this Let's see, June. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's from the current date. So I put in, let's see, the 5th. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not the 23rd. Let me change this. So let's say a month from now would be the 7th. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm plugging in the sentence, the 7th. Let me refresh this. Okay, there, that's what I wanted. Um, I open up the date. So yeah. It'd be April 29th, which is the 29th here. Um, it'd be the 6th, which would be the first 6th of the month. The 13th, which is the following 13th, uh, the following week. And May 20th, which is the week after that. And if you wanted to add the 27th in there, right here, all you would basically do is just add um, another block of code, just copying this and add two weeks onto this and I'll go ahead and save this and refresh this and as you can see it adds the 27th here um, I did put it in span style so it's not colored but uh, and there it is the 27th and 27th here which is this so if you want to take a moment to pause the video and copy all this down here um, this is basically um, a functionality where you can actually add to timesheets where um, uh, if you are filling out a timesheet and you need a, a week starting and a week ending, um, this is how to do it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. hope it wasn't too complicated and hope I was clear enough for you to understand. And um, thanks for watching.